Hey everyone, this is Kevin with Divinely Design, and we have a mixed media photo layout today and continuing the series where I'm uh, uh, um, doing a, 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 a um, presentation for my friend and sort of focusing on her daughter. So using a picture of, of them at a, a sort of a more formal occasion here. And I wanted to go for sign of something kind of glam, or, you know, with a feel of a sort of a glam feel. So I have some gold perfect pearls that I'm mi mixing into some Wendy Vecchi embossing paste and then using that large stencil um, just on a piece of yellow 12 by 12 paper. And I'm going to do that on the other side as well. And then I'm going to take the perfect pearls and add a little bit, just sort of sprinkle some onto the wet uh, embossing paste. Now, I knew it would stick to the paper as well because um, the perfect pearls is a really, really fine powder. But I was okay with that. So um, I wanted it, it didn't, and it didn't need to be perfect. I was just sort of adding some uh, splashes of the more gold shimmery element to some of the embossing paste but not all of it uh, and I'm gonna you'll see in a second here I'm gonna uh, cut some of that up here I guess I could have cut out all of this um, clean up here sorry <laughs> um, okay so taking some of that perfect pearls powder and just sort of applying it kind of lightly here um, and later on, I'll, I'll kind of rub it in uh, with my finger once everything is all dried. Just use my heat gun to dry that. Um, it's a little hard to see against actually the yellow background, but here's where I'm rubbing that Perfect Pearls in a little bit to the, emboss the embossed elements and then just trying to brush off the rest of them. Now I'd already marked out some areas on that 11, I mean on that 12 by 12 piece of paper that I was going to cut out. Just drew them in freehand with a pencil um, because I want to go for sort of this um, rectangular look where you can see some other paper beneath my yellow paper. So I'm just cutting out these rectangles here and I'll, I'll use every other one. And there's a piece of pattern paper that I'm going to apply beneath them. Now I'm using, this is a Ranger um, distress tool, so I'm just using it to distress the edges, and this took a lot longer than I thought it would. I it's, It was hard to do because these, like the one I'm working on now, it's, it's just sort of, I don't want to say fragile, it's just sort of difficult to hold it, and you have to use a fair amount of pressure to distress the edges and because this is very kind of flimsy now that I've cut it apart, it's just hard to hold. So it took me a little while to do that, but it works really well. It just sort of frays the edges, gives them some texture, breaks up those paper fibers, and um, creates a lot of dust and paper mess. So just doing it to all of them. Now on this last one, I only do the inside. I'll leave the outside smooth uh, I'm not going to distress the edges of my 12 by 12 paper, just, just sort of the interior pieces. Now turning to some sprays, I have some color bloom sprays that I, this is the first time I'm using. So these are um, really kind of cool. They come in a cool bottle that has a handle that's very ergonomic, so they're really easy to use. And then you can pull the handle re really firmly for a fine spray or just sort of tap it to get um, splatters. And the pink I'm using here is because there's sort of pink in the picture. It's actually called coral. It's a beautiful color. And some just turning to some Heidi Swap spray, some, uh, this one's called butter, which is a lovely like pale yellow color and then some splashes of white and just drying that all off. Now I wanted to tone down this pattern paper a little bit so I sprayed it with some white uh, Heidi Swap spray and then I'm going to add some splatters here with some other Heidi Swaps in black uh, 
tea and gold. Not a lot. I'm just trying to break up some of those edges, those patterns, just so it's a little bit softer there. And I did dry that with a heat gun. So now um, I was, I, I, it looked good, but I needed a little bit more. So I end up taking some distress ink, um, I think in mustard, it, maybe it is, and just distressing the edges of those cut out yellow rectangles just to make it the edges a little bit more stand out a little bit more kind of from the background paper it's not a huge um uh, it's not you can't see it a lot but it made a difference um in terms of the overall look of the page um i wanted just to make a distinction that you know i mean it's obvious that you there is this these um you know, two different papers here but um this helped to make it just a little bit more clear and i liked the darkening kind of around the edges <laughs> fixing something on my ipad <laughs> So the embossing is hard to see on this now, but you can see it in the final um, version, the embossed paste I did. It's hard to see here. It sort of blends right in. So now I'm just taking those um, squares of yellow and adhering them down to my pattern paper with some Mod Podge. And this is a matte finish. I just, and I wanted to make sure that they they stayed really well. I wanted them very flat with the exception of the edges, which I didn't mind if, you know, they were sort of frayed and up a little bit, but otherwise I wanted to make sure these stayed very flat um, on the piece of paper itself. So just took some time and used a paper towel to sort of press down firmly. And um, Mod Podge dries really quickly, so this didn't take very much time, but I just wanted to make sure I was doing it well. Um, although Mod Podge, as you can see, it gets all over the place, so I had glue all over my hands, or Mod Podge, I guess, but... Okay, now starting in with the layout that my background's sort of done. So I have this picture that has, and I put one of those little metal embellishments that says happy on it. I have some chipboard pieces now. The Fabulous I embossed with some gold embossing powder. The um, sort of corner flourish, I actually used some um, liquid pearls in gold and traced over the chipboard. So it has a nice three-dimensional kind of look to it. There's also a chipboard medallion that I embossed with, um, I think it's liquid platinum, and put a resin uh, love statement on it. I end up changing the location here. Uh, this paper is a Tim Holtz paper that's very shiny and sparkly, and I used it in gold. They also have it in silver. And I'm using some punches to punch out some stars and some circles, which I will end up using uh, later um, in the display. I'm just here kind of considering where I want to put stuff, and I didn't have an overall plan other than... Um, <coughs> I wanted the picture in the middle. And so now the layout, I'm, I'm actually working with sort of as I go here, I decided I wanted to use some flowers and I was gonna use quite a few of them. So I'm choosing a lot in white and some in yellow, and then I'm gonna use some sprays. Uh, this is that butter color um, from Heidi Swap, which is really pretty. I used some paper towels to mask off some areas that I wanted to try and protect and then just using different sprays that I'd already used in the layout here to color some of the flowers. Uh, this is a Prima flower that has sort of rhinestones in the middle and kind of these feathers on the outside. The black uh, worked really well, I thought. So um, I'm using a different combination here. Th these are some Prima flowers and some, you know, paper flowers that were on sale at Michael's and I think I have some Recollections flowers in there as well. Just a bunch of different kinds of paper flowers. And then just spraying them and coloring them and 
different sort of yellow gold and a little bit of orange. These are actually um, kind of a craft color with some glitter on the the sides, which I thought I would use, but I ended up not liking them as much, and I end up coloring them with some uh, sprays as well um, instead of keeping them sort of their natural craft color. Just laying out the flowers kind of in the pattern I want them. So here I'm coloring those three craft um, flowers, giving them a little bit more sort of darkness and weight, which I like to sort of counterbalance that love medallion, which I ended up putting in the upper right hand corner there. Putting down this chipboard flourish with some Tombow multi matte medium or multimedia mat, I guess. <laughs> uh, and then uh, just the other chipboard elements. I started with the medallion and then I realized I hadn't actually adhered the photo yet. So I had to sort of move everything and then put the photo down and try and slip it back under that medallion. And then um, just putting the other elements, kind of gluing them in place here. Um, the, the, the title, fabulous with that chipboard piece. And then I'll just start putting the flowers uh, down where I want them. And pretty much just keeping the exact pattern I had laid out. And then after I'm done the flowers, again, I wanted to do kind of a bling theme, like lots of gold and shimmer and, um, you know, sort of play off the kind of formal event they were going to. And uh, so I'll use a whole bunch of things here now. Some of that glimmer paper from Tim Holtz that I had punched out into circles and stars, uh, it actually has a sticky backing to it. So here I'm just peeling off that backing and putting them down, uh, you know, where I want, and uh, just trying to balance it out as I uh, do the rest of the layout. Uh, after this paper, I'll move on to some, they're, they're sequins, but they're large. They're like large gold um, punch outs, actually. And so I'll, I'll that are solid. Uh, this paper has a like a very sparkly quality to it. The gold sequins I'm about to use are just flat, uh, but they are shiny. And then after I do that, I'll start moving on to some sequins and uh, just a couple of other little elements that I put on here to try and finish out the look. These are just some sort of candy dot kind of things. And um, I, I wanted to add a little bit more black. I like the love kind of medallion as, as the black also. Um, I thought I was going to need a little more. You, you might have seen me trying out some other black elements, but I think the photo itself kind of has the black in it that I wanted to sort of draw your eye there. Um, some sequins, using some gold and some silver sequins here. And then I will, I felt like I still wanted a little bit of more pink into it. I didn't want to use a lot of pink here so I have some of that coral that's very soft now from the the Prima sprays so I wanted to bump up a little bit of the the pink element here so I'll use a few hot pink sequins kind of all over I wasn't really sure I was going to use them but it just felt um, it felt like it needed a little bit more contrast um, on with the pink there. And um, I think it, it ends up being pretty successful with those little pink ones. I didn't want to overwhelm it. I wanted to stay mostly in the yellow kind of gold. And um, the black and the hot pink are really the, the accents here. And um, I think that's it. And I have some still photos to follow. Um, oh, that's my kitty who stopped by to make sure I did all my work. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, comments, questions, you can 
leave them below. I'm, I'm happy to try and answer any questions you might have. And um, that's it. Just, um, oh, click on that thumbs up button if you like this video. And if you're not subscribed, click on that subscribe button. And uh, have a great day and enjoy the rest of the pictures.